I'm really disgusted at all the hoopla and the noise that has been made because of Tony Dungy's comments. I don't find them remotely controversial. I want to be very, very clear about that. I know that people might sit there and look at me like I'm insane. Get over it. Here's the reality of the situation. You can take this two ways. There are people who've extended themselves to the religious portion of it. Tony Dungy, devout Christian, feels this way about homosexuality, so he would make such a statement. They're surmising that from a quote that basically didn't allude to any of his religion whatsoever. Mm -hmm. My point is, even if that were the case, mm -hmm. he is known to be a devout Christian. He is known to be walking in the faith, as they say. He is known to be that kind of individual, and he has been against same-sex marriages, and I think he once received an award in 2007 for such a thing. So that's consistent with who he has been. But if you don't go the religious route, and you choose not to go the religious route, and you just go based on his quote, he is saying that essentially it would be a distraction. So now what do people do? They stand up and they bring up Michael Vick and the dogfighting scandal and how he embraced Michael Vick and he was, you know, a, a mentor and an advisor to Michael Vick and, and you know, in, in terms of the reclamation project that was Michael Vick after 18 months of incarceration in Levensworth Federal uh, Penitentiary mm -hmm. due to the dogfighting scandal. My point is this, Skip. What does one have to do with the other? If you're trying to draw parallels, it's because you still sit here and you refuse to accept the obvious. Regardless of how egregious it may be, regardless of how wrong and, 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 and wrong-sighted it may be in the eyes of various people throughout this nation and throughout this world, somebody going to jail for a dogfighting scandal, serving his time, getting out of prison and being in an NFL locker room is not necessarily something that's going to cause a distraction in the eyes of players compared to somebody that is gay in the locker room. We don't like to say that, but it's just the truth. I personally, again, I'm on the record. Mm -hmm. I am not against uh, gay rights, same-sex marriages, all of this stuff. I, I don't care about that stuff. Me personally, I'm like, live and let live. Do what you do. I don't believe that anybody should be ostracized. I don't believe anybody should be violated, you know, denied their civil liberties and their civil rights. I don't believe in any of that. I, I, I am a proponent of most of the causes the gay community has fought for. And I think that it's wrong how they've been prejudiced against. I am shocked that you don't see the problem I don't. here. I, I am truly, utterly shocked. Okay. But I'm not speechless. Okay. I want to be clear. I share Tony Dungy's spiritual views, but I found his small comment that he made yesterday highly controversial, highly hypocritical, and I must say highly offensive. Mm. And let's reiterate the ground that you just covered. Sure. 2007, Tony Dungy came out in support of a gay marriage ban, which means he was anti, obviously, gay marriage, and he was applauded in some circles for that and did receive the award for that. And he said at that time, we're not trying to downgrade anyone else in the gay community, but we are trying to promote family values the Lord's way. So when I first saw the headline yesterday, I just jumped to the conclusion in my own head that, wow, somehow Tony Dungy is publicly speaking out against Michael Sam on some kind of religious or biblical grounds. Mm -hmm. That was utterly not the case. There was no hint of that in the small statement that he made to the, was it the Tampa Tribune? The Tampa Tribune. Okay, no, no hint of that. He was only speaking of dealing with it, dealing with the circus, the distraction. And obviously then my mind, before I read any other reaction to it, leaped to Michael Vick. Michael Vick, we, we know what happened. I don't want to cover that ugly, tortured ground, but, but we know what happened with the dogs, and we know that Michael Vick paid a, a steep, steep price for that, and he paid his debt to society. And when he came out of prison, Tony Dungy became his mentor, his advisor, his big brother, his champion, and was, well, I think he was assigned by the league to, to be... That's it. Sure. Yeah, right? To, to be with Michael Vick to sort of escort him and guide him through, okay. which was going to be some deep and treacherous water when okay. he went to Philadelphia, thanks to Andy Reid. Mm -hmm. 
You want to talk about a lightning rod. Michael Vick was a hundred times to me the lightning rod that even Michael Sam is in today's society in those days. I'm sorry. With the animal rights groups massing to protest, his, his teammates were going to get asked again and again and again, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? The distraction was enormous, even though I can make a case because the, the Rams teammates don't yet know Michael Sam. The, the, the Eagles love Michael Vick as a guy. I think they wanted him in, in, in their locker room, but he was a huge distraction for that football team through training camp. And you can't tell me that the first openly gay player in St. Louis won't be a huge distraction through training camp, and it's not by his hand or his doing. It's that you don't think there'll be extraordinary amounts of new national media covering the St. Louis Rams this year so, just because of Michael Sam? You don't think that the Rams will be asked again and again and again and again? Mm -hmm. How is it being a teammate of Michael Sam's? Mm -hmm. They will all at night scream to their dorm room walls. Mm -hmm. When are they going to stop asking me about Michael Sam? Again, that's nothing, no offense to Michael Sam. It's what the media will do. Mm -hmm. It will be a circus. It will be a distraction for the team. Gonna... And so I get that. Mm -hmm. But the bigger distraction to me on the scale of distra distractions was Michael Vick when he came out of prison to the Philadelphia Eagles. So th this is the height of hypocrisy okay. for Tony Dungy.